Okay, so uh, in class I was talking about preparing your images to do your um, tonal renderings on them. Um, I had a raw scan there and I went through a series of steps. I know it might be a little bit confusing if you haven't done it before, so I'm going to go through those here uh, on video. That way it's really easy for you to check back and follow along on your own. So first things first, I've got a scan of an image, uh, an object that I drew as a demonstration. I did the raw scan and I purposefully um, didn't try and line it up on the, the scanner glass or anything because I wanted to show you some quick tricks for even um, getting that straight. So the easiest way to do that was obviously scan it not straight. So here's the raw image. Um, and as you can see, the paper is not white. The lines are not yet dark. So we want to not only um, get this all adjusted and ready, but also improve the tonal range of the line work, make sure it's dark and that the paper is white and all that stuff. When you're scanning, make sure you're scanning high resolution. You want to have print resolution. So 300 dots per inch or higher, um, you know, 400 is fine, 600. You probably don't need to go any higher than that. It's not like this is some crazy illustration that's going to be used on a billboard or something. So um, I've got my basic scan and it's ready to go. It's in RGB mode, but you can do this equally as well in CMYK. All right. So first things first, what I want to do is I want to um, get this straight up and down. Now you could just grab the whole image and rotate it by eye and try and get it straight up and down, but there's actually a much easier way to do it and be a lot more accurate. So I've got my vertical lines here on the side. What you can do is go over to the eyedropper, scroll through the drawer, and you've got the ruler tool. Grab that ruler tool and just trace one of your vertical lines right just like that let go of after left clicking and that line will stay there and what it will do in Photoshop if you go to image adjustments uh, no image rotation sorry uh, image rotation arbitrary it'll automatically fill in the value to get that to 90 degrees so you don't have to figure out what it would be it'll just do it automatically just like that okay so now I have uh, my image straight up and down. I'm going to crop it in tightly here so that I don't have a lot of extra boring white space. Bam. Now I've just got the bottle straight up and down. So uh, it's looking better, obviously. Now I want to get a better, um, cleaner look to the line work. So the easiest way for me to do that is to use Image Adjustments Levels. So if you go to Levels, you'll see this palette opens up here. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, this at the bottom is sort of the dark range, and this is the light range. And I can drag the center slider, and what you'll notice is it darkens up sort of the mid-range of it. And then I can drag down, and I can sort of play these two triangles against each other until I get really deep black line work. And the white of the paper is the white that I want instead of a gray. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is to go to the exact same thing, only now use these two droppers. So there's a black eyedropper and there's a white eyedropper. So if I grab the black eyedropper and I click on somewhere that's supposed to be black, it'll adjust the range automatically. And then I click somewhere that's supposed to be the white of the paper and it'll adjust that automatically. So it does all the tweaking internally there and I've got a nice range. Now it does deepen up the red of the, uh, the rough construction line work, which won't be a problem, uh, you know, if you have your construction on a separate layer, but here I wanna get rid of all those construction lines and just have my line work. There's multiple ways to do that in Photoshop. Probably the easiest in this case is to just use, honestly, the bucket fill tool. So what I can do here, for example, I can grab the bucket, I can turn off contiguous, turn on anti-aliasing, put the tolerance pretty high. So tolerance is basically how similar to the color I click on, it's going to um, fill in the color the same. Make sure that this is the white, uh, absolute white here for your front color. And then I'll just zoom in and start finding all the things that are red or pink, start clicking on them. And because contiguous is turned off, 
it's going to fill in all those areas similar. And it takes a few to get them all, three or four. I want to zoom in a little bit closer, get some of these near reds, tidy up some of that stuff as well. Bam. Okay. And what I'm left with is just the pencil line work. Okay. Looking not too bad. There's some areas where my pencil lines were a little bit shaky, not quite as strong as I would have liked. But on the whole, it's working relatively well. I can go, now I can turn this to a grayscale mode. If I want to just touch up those levels even a little bit more, I could bring the white level down a bit more, get rid of any little wispy sections of gray. Before you start working on your actual rendering, go in with a white brush, hard edged brush, just touch up any fingerprints or dust marks from the scanner or imperfections. You know, this is a good time to just give it a once over, make sure it's looking clean and crisp in all the areas you want it to. And then after you're done all that, make sure of course that you save your uh, you know high resolution file and that it's all prepared and ready to go so that you can then start working on your tonal rendering version and um, have it all the way that you would like okay so the first few times you do this it'll be a little bit slower you'll be getting used to the tools and and you know getting comfortable with the different functionality but once you have a good feel for it it goes pretty quick from there I will save this file as just my cleaned up object scan ready to go I've obviously done this before when I was getting ready and here you go so that's finished clean tight line work grayscale mode ready to go